Step 1. We will cut all the edges of our pattern. You have to look that the pattern has everything specified on it and you have to put them, I recommend you put them on groups, the felt, the lining and the material. Step 2. You open your material and this piece you will fold it in four or you cut it two by two. It's like you want. You just have to respect the grain line and I'm going to cut two, two layers by two layers. And from this piece I need four pieces of material. So we put our pins. We just check that I have enough material for afterwards when I cut the other two and we cut. We have to be very careful and put many, much attention on the snip marks. We cut the snip marks. It's very important. Step three, we will cut all our lining and our snip marks. They are very important, especially in this pattern. From this piece we have four pieces from these two and for these four on the snip marks. They are very, very important on all the pieces, especially on this model. We will sew, start sewing together the center part of the bag and the left side of the bag. We put our pins on the snip marks. There they are, and we put right sides together, so we will sew that on both sides. Step number four, we will cut our lining. We check that we have material all over, all on the borders of our pattern, and put, that is my grain line, and please put much pins because the this material, the lining, it's very slippery, so it's very tricky. And our snip marks. You have to move it as less as possible. When it's ready, then look, when I just move it, how it slips. Then I will move it again, and it slips a lot. But it's a very nice feeling when you put your hand in your bag and you have that slippery feeling. So step five. We will do the same thing for the back part of the bag. There we are again. We put the flat sides together. We will start our one centimeter seam line. We have to respect where our snip marks are. There they are. So we'll put a pin here. There they are. And you hardly see them here in the video, but they're there. Okay. Here, we have to, you see that there's like a piece missing. It's not missing. You just have to put up the seam line from the other side. And there you have material to sew on the centimeter. Then you will go through exactly on the little corner there that I'm showing you and like that you will have a perfect edge there it is you fold the the seam lines wherever they want wherever they go that they, they don't bother and you have the perfect edge there and you do the same on the front and on the back part of the bag there we have it on that side we go that way on the seam lines and we iron every time you make a seam line you have to you saw a seam line then you have to iron like that it stays flat and lovely step number six we will put our felt over the front part of the bag as you see you have one centimeter less of the felt this is all right and you will put your pins and now we have to well, it's not that we have to. We will quilt it. I will quilt it. Well, first, before I quilt it, I will put my rickrack, my huge rickrack, 
which I find it lovely. And then after I will quilt it. And that is free for everybody. Everybody can quilt like they want. And that will give a, a special personality to each bag. We trim the rig rack that it's left after I sew it together and we make exactly the same on the back part of the bag. The same procedure. I did already my quilting. I iron it again. I did a little uh, quilting uh, stitches. Then we will put our beads. We will glue them together because, as I showed you before, when you iron them, they get like burned, so it's better if you glue them. Step number seven, we will put the bottom of the felt to the bottom of the bag. And we do the same procedure. You put your pins and we will sew all around it. You sew like one and a half centimeter in, inward, the seam line. And this will do the same with the sides of the bag. We have four sides and here you have to be careful. It is thinner on the top than on the bottom. So you have to put them right. They're a little bit thinner on the top. You can see the pattern and exactly. I had to turn them on. on. Step number nine, we will sew them together. The curves, the curve will go together with the curve on the front or by the back of the back like I'm putting now. It's right sides together of the material. We do the same procedure from the front and on the back of the bag. Part was with the curve and the straight is the middle of the bag. Now we will put, uh, we check our middle of the bottom of the bag and we pin it together, right sides together, with the bottom of one of the sides, the front of or the back of the bag. We check that our rig rack is in, like that we don't lose it, and we iron. Now we will do the same thing on the back part of the bag with the bottom. Step number 10, we will sew together our lining. And I am putting the sides of the bag, the right sides together, and the right sides together. Remember that it's the same with the lining. The thinner part goes on top. It's also written on the pattern. They're slightly different. Now here I'm going to show you how we have to sew this piece. From the upper part of the bag, the upper corner, we will put this part. We will sew together all the curve with the curve. Here we will mark one centimeter in the middle. Like that you put the positioning right. I just took a little thread off. I will put it near, like that you can see it better. Here I marked one centimeter, there. And I need to put the centimeter on the bottom of the part of the bag. It's the bottom, just of the main part of the, of the bag, of the lining. And I have to arrive to slide it till it touches my black point, till the border. There it is. 
If you don't position this, then you will have some material left or missing material. And you have to be careful. There, I will put a pin just to show you why it's this on the pattern. You have to be very careful with these angles. And on the upper part, I have to put it where my snip marks are from that small piece and the main part of the lining. And as I fold it, then I will have my curve, very nice line, a curvy line. But if you don't do that, then you will have a piece extra that usually you just cut away and it's a piece that you miss. And it's a piece that you might be needing. Then after that, after we put the sides to the front and the back of the lining, we will put our bottom. We put right sides together, we sew it and we iron it. And the same part for the back of the part of, of the bag. We check which is our middle. We pin it to the back to the bottom of the bag and we sew it together right sides together again so there is our lining step number 11 we will sew from here till here it's exactly from the snip mark to the snip mark and on the other side we will do the same from snip mark to snip mark we will sew it right sides together the lining with our material of the bag with the felt and everything together and we have opening on both sides step number 12 we will close one side we will start with the material not the lining so we put our snip marks together there and we will sew from the snip mark till the bottom, from here, till the bottom of our bag. And you do the same on the other side, from snip mark to the bottom. And be careful that your lining don't go on the way. You have to take it out, out there, pin it a little on the side. You do the same on the right side and on the left side of your bag. You go like one centimeter under the snip mark. There I start. And that I will do it afterwards by hand. Now we will put on that same side of the bag, we put our lining together, <coughs> right sides together. A little under from the snip marks even if we leave a little hole it's okay that little hole we will close it by hand like that is more accurate <clears throat> and from there till the bottom of our lining till there from my right hand there, from there till there. So we do this with the machine. And there is my little hole that after I will close that by hand, not with the machine. There it is. So I will put that together and from there till there we will sew it by hand. You can do it with a sewing machine, but it would be very, very difficult to be so accurate. So there are little details that you better do by hand and your work will come lovely. And there are a few stitches. Anyway, you can do also all your bag by hand if you want. 
it's like you want. Now on the other side we will do the same, we put our right sides together and we saw the, the side of the bag. And you, as you can see, there is our point, it's a cross. That is at one side and the other, and all the upper part is closed. So it's very nice for after we're putting the, the frame because you have already lining, felt, and material together. And there on the lining, we didn't sew together the last part because we will do that with the machine or by hand. We will sew together, we will leave our little hole that we will do by hand, and this we can just turn it, it the, the, turn it and give a, a, a line with the machine. We sew it with the machine, the little line, and it's a little, sewing that it's inside of the bag and it's very professional finish your bag. Step number 15. Here we have the middle of the frame and the middle of the frame it's the middle of our bag and there we will start to sew it. Wherever you want but you have to start from the middle always till you arrive till the end of the frame and after you arrive from the middle till the end of the frame you come back and as you come back you will have all the other stitches missing they will be finished so there I go back and I finish and like that you finish all the other sides of the frame from the middle to the side and go back and the other side of the frame exactly the same from the middle to the side and go back step number 16 we will put our pompons which it's it is a fringe and there you have a little thread that holds all the fringes together so we will fold it in half and we will start wrapping it inside out and sewing it together you have to give many stitches like that it don't go loose and it stays very compact you turn it and you keep on sewing it I will show you um, another more color here because with the thread black and the pom pom with the tassel black you really don't see it. There it is. What we are doing is just fixing it everything. But we fold it in half and the open parts it's what it starts to roll up inside. And then we will sew it on the little corner of our bag. Our beautiful tassel after you can decorate more your tassel if you put uh, some beads on it that would look lovely there we go we're almost finished If you have some questions, feel free to ask. I always um, put it on diagonal, like that there's no thread shown when I sew on the tassel. So it's very clean. And then you take off, you pull your fringes and you take off that little thread that holds them together like that they will dance free
Step 17, you just put the ring, it's like a keychain ring but very little, it's very small, and you connect it with the chain and then you connect it with the frame. And there it is. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Give us like on Facebook. Thank you.